Hey guys, my name is Yuval. I'm director of solution architecture for Spotins. Uh, thanks a lot for Amazon for having us today. Today we will learn how to deploy EKS cluster in a very, very cost efficient and reliable way. We're going to do so with a blend of on-demand, RIs, and spot instances. If you heard about Spotins, we founded it around three years ago, uh, raised some money mostly from Intel Capital, have hundreds of happy clients. Our goal is to help our clients reduce their cloud compute cost by utilizing cloud provider access capacity. So of course, in AWS case, we're speaking about spot instances. Any of you using familiar with spot instances? Fantastic. Spot instances are the public offering of AWS for their access capacity. They have the same name, same performance as the on-demand instances, being offered with a discount of anywhere between 70 and 90%. The only challenge using those instances is AWS can take them away from you in any given moment in time. And here Spotins can help you. We found a way to help you run any type of workload, production workload, on top of spot instances. We're doing it with our special technology. We develop prediction algorithm that help us determine when AWS is about to take those instances from you 15, 20 minutes ahead of time and act accordingly in order to ensure your application availability. Spot in Elastic Group. Spot in Elastic Group is our scaling service, very, very similar to Auto Scaling Group. We like to call it Auto Scaling Group on steroids. It has a few really cool features. For example, we can blend reserved instances, spot instances, and on demand on the same cluster. We can have many different instance family and size in the same group. And we can really easily integrate with a lot of application. One of them is, of course, EKS. Elastic Group for Container Services is our proprietary Elastic Group that helps you manage your container orchestration platform. So here really we can see on the top layer your containers, your pod, many different applications, many different sizes. Below, we have the Kubernetes layer managed for you by EKS, by Amazon EKS. Underneath, we can see your instances, your actual infrastructure, your Kubernetes node. We can help you manage those nodes in a very, very efficient way. You can already see here that we have different sizes of instances. You're not being locked for a single instance size. In addition, we develop a really intelligent autoscaler for those instances. So we really want to abstract from you the need to manage those nodes. You have complete visibility, complete control over those nodes, but Spotting is going to help you utilize them really, really efficiently. So how do we handle spot interruption? We just said Amazon can take spot instances from you any given moment in time. How Spotins handle it in a production Kubernetes cluster? The following example, we have Kubernetes cluster, three spot instances, some application probably deployed here, presented by Ingress controller, ELB in this case. Spotins recognize one of your instances is about to be taken from you. What's happening? Behind the scenes for you, completely automatically, we will launch additional Kubernetes node, join it to the cluster for you. In the same time, we drain all the existing connection and all the containers from the soon to be interrupted node, splitting the traffic to the new node, make sure your capacity met, your application, really you have the resources you need and only then safely terminate the instance that's about to be interrupted. Let's go to a short demo. I'll show you the console. So this is Elastic Groups inside Spotins console. Important to understand, Spotins is a SaaS layer. All the instances will still running on side your AWS account. We're not running things in our side. So here we see a list of Elastic Group. Probably each one of those Elastic Group represent a Kubernetes cluster, EKS cluster. If we'll go into one of those groups, we can see that in this specific group currently, we have 39 nodes, EKS cluster with 39 nodes. You can also see the potential cost for running those instances on on demand and what the actually, what's the actual cost to run those instances on top of spot. We see some really nice information running pods over time. 
we see the different application running inside the deployment inside your EKS cluster. Here we can see really the blend of different instances inside your Kubernetes cluster. So I hope you can see here, but it's actually really exciting. We're not that often seeing Kubernetes cluster built from many different instance types. So we have a I3 instances, M4 instances, D2 instances, all of those in the same cluster. And look at this utilization. This utilization is amazing because Spotin's scaling performs scale-up operation for you, not based on threshold, but based on your actual container, your actual pod resource requirements. We're looking into the events of the cluster and launch the right instance type for the resources that your containers require. Here we can see the configuration of the Elastic Group. Here we can control the blend of spot and on-demand. As I said, really, really easy. Really easy to determine how many on-demand you want to have in your group, how many spot instances you want to have in the group. You can utilize your reserved instances. Again, Spotins will recognize if you have any vacants arise and automatically launch those instances as arise. Last, last part of the configuration is here where you choose the compute. So here we can see all the different instances that can be run as spot instances. You let us know which instances can work for your EKS cluster. Choosing the right instances, Elastic Group will launch the instances for you not only based on the spot market availability that you can really see here. Here you see our prediction algorithm at work. We're providing score for each one of the different markets. So we're not only going to choose instances for you based on that, we also going to choose the instances, as I said earlier, according to your cluster resources requirement. So why do we need in Spotins to develop special autoscaler? What's What's wrong with scaling based on thresholds? So let's see this following example. Here we have cluster, EKS cluster, built from three different instance types, already good situation, very diverse cluster. We have some free capacity in the cluster, three CPUs and a gigabyte of half of RAM available in the cluster. We're not gonna perform any scale up here based on threshold because we didn't met any of the threshold, 80% CPU, 80% of used RAM and so on. Now, we're trying to deploy a new container, a new pod to this cluster. The pods require three CPU and a gigabyte and a half of RAM. Allegedly, we have enough resources in the cluster, right? But the pod will fail to get scheduled. This is exactly where Spotting's autoscaler for EKS can help you. We will launch the node that needed to run this. So probably here we launch a node in the size of C3 large. And this is how you'll have resources infrastructure that actually meet your container resources requirements. Last, the EKS perspective. So everything I just mentioned, very relevant for any Kubernetes implementation, how we differentiate with EKS deployments. First, we are aware of the max pod attribute. In EKS, each instance can have certain amount of, instance in, of pod deployed inside this instance. Spotting's autoscaler aware to this number, if you reach anywhere close to this number inside your nodes, we'll scale up an additional node for you in the cluster. Second, you can really easily create a new EKS cluster with Spotins or integrate into an existing EKS cluster. Really up to you. Last, our integration is driven behind the scene with CloudFormation. So exactly the same way you probably uh, create your EKS cluster today, create your nodes today, we're doing it in a very similar way in order for you to be familiar with the way we implement EKS cluster, and you can, of course, custom tailor the cloud formation for your own needs. That's it. Thanks a lot. Come on down. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey. Um, so I actually have the inaugural question from Twitch today. Um, and Twitch wants to know, does SpotInst run as a controller in my EKS cluster? Yeah, so the way we actually uh, provide all the wonderful intelligence inside your Kubernetes cluster, we provide you with a pod. You install this pod inside your EKS, inside your Kubernetes cluster. And this is how we have the visibility into the resource requirements of your running pods. 
Awesome. And I have a question from myself, and I'm, well, I'm also on Twitch, so maybe this counts, but do you have any cool cost optimization stories for us? Because I know that a lot of people are nervous to use spot instances because of the, because of the shutting down time. Um, do you have any cool like cost optimization customer stories for us? Yeah, I think the coolest story, it's about a company we actually helped uh, bring them for profitability. They had a huge infrastructure, oh, cool. hundreds of thousands of instances, paid a lot of money, and they really was hesitant to use spot instances. Uh, by utilizing our platform, they could have used uh, any of their production workload on top of spot, and we actually helped this company become profitable. And it's really nice to see the business meeting the infrastructure and how we can help. That's awesome. awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much. Um, it was great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>